Hello everyone and welcome back to another live stream. Hopefully you are all doing well. We had a bit of a correction on the market and we are recovering already. So feel free to start sending in your requests if you have any. We'll take a look at some AI coins that you can still buy. We just finished a patrons exclusive live stream. And that's why we're not gonna we're not gonna have a very long live stream right now. On top of that, I'm fasting, so I don't want to speak a lot during the day. So hopefully you understand. <clears throat> Track and AI would be great, please. Yeah, I did a review on Track like a long time ago on Patreon, and unfortunately I just didn't get into it. And it took off. So let me know if the audio is working fine. Let me know if the if the video is doing fine. Thank you all for joining. Feel free to leave a like. That does help the live stream and the channel out. And if you want us to take a look at your project send in your request. If you're a patron, send in a request saying that you're a patron. We'll prioritize your um, your requests. And if you're doing a super chat, uh, we'll prioritize those as well. Visual 100%, of course, because I'm in the camera. I'm kidding. <clears throat> And just a quick little announcement regarding the channel. So we're not uh, being monetized on YouTube anymore. So if you want to support the channel, feel free to take a look at the Patreon, uh, which does have a seven day free trial. And uh, we have some lower tiers here if you just wanna join in and support the channel and get, the, uh, get all the exclusive content, which includes patron uh, requests, low cap gems, portfolios, trade alerts, podcasts, a whole bunch of stuff on a daily basis. And uh, feel free to send in a super chat to support the channel if uh, you feel uh, so inclined. But let's take a look at, uh, let's start taking a look at the requests. So can you cover T-Drop? So what is T-Drop? So let's do that and let's do that. And uh, also if you go to my channel, okay, it's Theta Drop. So if you go to my channel, go to the video section to the upload feed and see which projects I have covered recently, just so you don't request something that we just did an update on on YouTube. You can just go in and watch yourself the update and see what's going on here. Uh, that way we don't spend time on projects that we have recently covered to save to save time, obviously. <clears throat> so taking a look at the data drop market cap page, $64.5 million market cap. And we're going through a bit of a pump here from what I can see gate.io. I believe we did a TA on it on Patreon as well, not too long ago, but it, it did start pumping as you can see. Okay, 2.4. Okay, and the market cap doesn't show up obviously. Okay, so if you're looking to get into this, gate.io, and this is one of the governance coins I believe on Theta Drop, or this is like a reward token on, um, on Theta. Uh, provides decentralized governance for Theta Drop and rewards stakers with T Drop token rewards. It is a new TNT20 token built on Theta blockchain centered around the groundbreaking concept of NFT liquidity mining. T Drop tokens are earned by users each time they make a purchase using T Fuel on Theta Drop. Okay, let's take a look at the price action. Uh, okay, gate.io it is. Wow, that is pretty impulsive pump there. <laughs> Look at that wick. 
Okay, so it's not going parabolic. Obviously, it's not doing AGIX types of pumps. So 365%, not bad. Not a bad pump. If you're looking to get into this, in my opinion, it's still not the worst time to be getting into it. We just bounced off the 0 0.236. We are above the daily 20 EMA. So in terms of buying in right now, you can look into some purchases right now, but definitely don't go all in. I would not recommend going all in. You don't want to be going all in into anything, realistically speaking, especially into lower cap projects such as Theta Drop. Let's open up the weekly. Okay, so we're getting a bit overextended from the 20 MA on the weekly. So you can target the 20 MA for entries. If, for example, sometime in the next month or so, we have a pullback, we have another crash, something happens, and uh, altcoins dip towards their 20 EMAs on the weekly, that is going to be a really good entry point. Regardless of the token, regardless of the project, even for Theta Drop, that is going to be a really good entry point. So make sure you take a look at that. And then we have this support level here at 0.0394 cents, which is a support that we bounced off of in December 2022. Then we dumped below that in April 2023, created a nice round bottom, and then we exploded. This was actually a pretty good cup and handle pattern here from what I'm seeing. Yeah, look at that. Played out perfectly. Played out perfectly. And uh, let's take a look at the RSI. It's in the overbought, of course. It's in the overbought. So be careful buying into this. In my opinion, personally speaking, I would not be getting into it right now. If you already got into the project, congratulations. That was that was a, a timely entry here within 2023, within the second half of 2023. Now, if we set up a Fibonacci retracement, and let's take a look at that. So we're going to be looking at 2.028 cents. That's going to be your technical target. So from the current prices there, that's 484%. And then we have the second FIB level above us at 0 0.05968 cents. There we go, around 6 cents there. So those would be your midterm targets. By the end of the bull market, of course, we could go higher than that. We're probably going to be breaking above six cents. Hello, everyone. And Pingux, hello there. How are you doing? Sam Malik. So once again, I did mention this at the start of the live stream uh, before sending in your request, you can take a look at the YouTube upload feed from my channel and see which projects we have covered. So we just did a near protocol review 15 hours ago. So I'm not going to spend time reviewing it again on this live stream just so we can save time. And then we also did Kronos. We did break, uh, we did uh, Moon River and uh, GLMR a few days ago. So feel free to take a look at those and uh, we don't have to spend time on them during this live stream, hopefully. Okay, so track. Let's take a look at track. This did go up nicely. Origin Trail. $500 million market cap. Okay. The all-time high from November 2021 is at $2.38. KuCoin. Almost the... well. I like the tokenomics there. No max supply though, but the total supply right now is 500 million tokens. Okay, let's take a look at track. Coinbase. There you go. We have enough data here on Coinbase. So on the weekly chart, we're doing extremely bullish extremely bullish on the weekly chart. If you're looking for some buying opportunities, obviously, as always, the 20 MA is going to be your best friend in this scenario. Are we coming back down to this local top from December 2023 and March 2022? I don't know. 
but that's a good level for you to target. You can set up some buy limit orders just in case it does happen. Like that's going to be a 54% retracement from that local top that we printed at the start of March. So if we can get there, that would be great. That would be a really good entry point. And that's maybe where I would be looking at some entries. If I don't have any other coins that I'm targeting. Uh, from the bottom here in October 2023, we are up 6x and we were up approximately 640% at the peak. So I would not be getting into it uh, at the current prices, to be honest with you. The market cap is not that high. So if you're less, if you're more risk tolerant than me, for example, then you can enter something like this, which is quite a bit overextended. As you can see, based on the RSI, it's showing us that the asset is in the overbought right now, which means that we could be expecting a retracement soon. More people are buying than selling. And at some point, the sellers, the bears are going to come in and they're going to start taking profits and they're going to drive the price back down, hopefully to the 20 MA, especially if Bitcoin starts pulling back down. That's, that's going to happen. But thing is, Bitcoin did pull back down and Origin Trail did not see that much of a pullback. Not much of a pullback at all. 30% very, very brief pullback. So yeah, this is probably as much as you're going to get right now unless Bitcoin continues dropping. And as you can see, Bitcoin's moving back up to $69,000. So you had your bit of a you know pullback there. If uh, you're not satisfied, then you should look at some other coins that are sitting at lower prices, lower market caps maybe, that haven't had this massive move to the upside. So... Yeah, I, I would be careful getting into these local tops and I would not be chasing green candles. That's why on Patreon, we were covering these projects when they were sitting at the bear market bottoms and you could have been buying them all day long. And that meant you wouldn't have to be really worried about the price during the bull market. So let's go through the next few requests that we have. Uh, what is your realistic price prediction for new protocol? 40 to $50, very doable in my opinion. And this is not, uh, like if you've been watching me for a while, you know that I'm not a perma bull or I'm not a perma bear or anything like that. I try to stay conservative, but realistically speaking, $40 is very doable for a new protocol. I need some advice. Got into near at uh, 1.8. Should I sell all of it at 10? and diversify in dot automatic for more 5x things um that depends i mean matic probably could do more than a 5x that depends that depends on if you have positions in atom dot and matic already i think a 4 or 5x for near from the current from $10 is doable if you want to take some profits off at $10, that would be a good idea. If you want to redistribute that into other coins, I guess, yeah, you can do that. You can definitely do that. Maybe go for something like Atom, which is going to do maybe a 7, 8x this bull market. You can do DOT. That could definitely do 7, 8x, in my opinion. If Polkadot 2.0 is successful, of course, in bringing more people to, to the ecosystem and more developers. But again, I can't give you financial advice, my friend. So it's going to be really, really hard to give you the perfect strategy. If you want to put that near profit into some mid low cap projects, then yeah, that, that would be great for your portfolio. And again, I would not sell all of my near. I would probably just take some profits and then redistribute that into a mid cap, low cap projects. Uh, thanks for covering track. No problem, my friend. No problem. Dot holding strongly above the inverse head and shoulders neckline. Um, are you talking about the daily chart? <clears throat> Layer AI is a low cap AI token doing well recently. I've seen it on the list uh, and people mentioned it to me before. We're going to take a look at it. We're definitely going to take a look at it.
what is your expectation for a new all-time high for T-Drop since Theta ecosystem is doing very well this bull run? Um, I would just go based on market cap expectations. So if we go to Theta Drop and you look at the current market cap, which is $64 million. Let's say we're eyeballing like a billion dollar market cap, right? So, or let's say, let's say we do, let's say we do a hundred, a hundred X would be 6 billion, right? So let's say we do a 50, a 50 X, which puts it at a $3 billion market cap, which sounds more or less doable, which I think is a bit too much, to be honest with you. I think that is a bit too much, but where is my, uh, So you can go to the coin perspective and take a look at T-Drop and then compare it to, you can either compare it to or just get, well, what's going on here with the website? Come on. Okay, it's lagging. So essentially you look at the market cap and you look at the vesting schedule as well. That's really important. See what the unlocks are gonna be looking like. So if we go to uh, T-Drop, on coinrank.io uh, and we go to vest. Oh, they don't have vesting here. Interesting. Have all the tokens been unlocked for the vesting schedules for the team and developers? I don't know. That's an important factor as well to account for. News tokenomics. No information on the vesting schedule. So look into the vesting schedule, see if there is going to be aggressive token unlocks. And then once you start getting closer to a billion dollar market cap, I would say that's a really good time to start taking profits if we get there before Bitcoin goes parabolic. So if Theta Drop does not get there and Theta Drop is sitting, let's say, at a $600 million market cap, does it 10x from here? And you have Bitcoin crossing 100 to $110,000. By that point, I'm probably going to be taking most of my money out of the market because I do not want to be waiting for the absolute peak to sell because most people won't be able to catch that. We'll just end up suffering a crash. So what you can do is just start taking profits once you get to $500 million, $600 million, $700 million, and so on and so forth. Unless you're expecting like a 2 to 3 to $4 billion market cap for this project, which I don't know if it, it can do that. If we look at Theta, I'm expecting a 20 to $30 billion market cap for Theta. So let's say this thing is $1 to $2 billion, which would make sense. If Theta gets that bullish, then uh, yeah, you can take profits closer to a billion and then leave some money in case you get to $1.5 to $2 billion. That's, that's what I would be looking at. But the project got listed during the bear market, so we can't really know what how bullish it can get. We don't have a proper cycle beforehand. So nothing to go off of essentially. But hopefully that explains it well. Happy Ramadan. Uh, Ramadan Mubarak to you too, my friend. No problem. Okay, so let's go back to the requests. So we have Tristan Marshall. So we looked at T-Drop. Okay, we have uh, Georgie Rudolph, uh, CREO. Well, let's take a look at CREO. Crow Engine, is that how you say it? It is pumping, of course, obviously. Gate.io, Mexi, BitGet. The word Crow is from Crow Engine is taken from the Latin word Crow, which means create. It also means believe in Spanish. The more you know, in essence, Creo Engine aims to create the best crypto gaming platform by providing users worldwide with high quality video games with rich visuals and sound, an essential part, uh, an essential play to earn system and a safe and secure marketplace for users to buy and sell digital assets utilizing a blockchain platform. Okay, so this is like a block uh, gaming infrastructure project, which those are usually the better ones to get into rather than getting into specific games. I would assume the team is doxxed for this. Is the team doxxed? For dedicated collaborations and helping us achieve our goals. Moonstarter, Infinity Pad, STRT, Huabi NFT, 
Plays app even. Another gaming low cap there. Mobile gaming low cap. Metapad, Indonesian Crypto Forum. Yeah, just cross-reference, cross-reference some of these and see if they're actually our partners. Then they have backers. TSPA, Coin Intelligence, and game partners. Okay. I mean, it looks like a pretty well set up website and team and project. It's just that if they're not docs, then that's that's not the worst thing ever, obviously, but it's better when a when a team is fully doxed. I would assume they're doxed. Let's give them a follow. And the community is quite active here. Okay, so that's not doing too bad. Let's take a look at the price action then. And we have, uh, okay. You have a chart from track. Hold on, did I just remove something? Okay. Mm, there we go. Actually, I can take a look at the deleted symbols here. Okay. All right, so let's go back and let's take a look. Oh my God, look at this. <laughs> this is the weekly chart. Goodness gracious. 21,000%. Wow. I don't know if you want to be getting into this at after such a pump. And it's only a $50 million market cap. Is that right? Is CoinGecko, is, is CoinGecko showing us a different market cap? Let's take a look. 50, no, it's the same market cap. That is a pretty big pump. That is a really, really big pump. If you held this on mech C, dude, <laughs> you're making bank. Now, this is going to be a strong area to grab liquidity from. A lot of people are going to be getting in between this level at 0 0.068 up to 0.110. So 11 cents down to 7 cents, essentially. That's going to be a really strong area. Other than that, it's hard to see this project going below, let's say, that's the local top. That's going to be like a 65% retracement to the bottom of the block. And I don't know if we can get even lower than that. You do have another little area here that you can target if you drop lower for any reason. But yeah, that's expecting something to drop down just because you want to buy it is not really smart. That's... That's you going based on emotions. So the market cap is still low. Arguably, you could buy into it right now. I know it's pumped a lot, but the market cap is still very low. It can do, let's say, 20x from here, 30x. still possible. And uh, you can secure some profits maybe. And then if it dips, just buy more. Not a lot to say about this chart. Like It's sitting at all-time high prices, essentially. Like... <laughs> You either buy right now or just wait until it retraces. But if you're buying right now, don't go all in. Just be careful. Don't go all in. Why doesn't Cosmos do any, even from October 2023, did only 50%? Um, the tokenomics aren't the best for Atom. And that's why the price isn't doing as good as some other coins in the Cosmos ecosystem. But that's why you invest into other coins. That's why you don't go all in into one specific project. So I do have a lot of Cosmos projects and I do have Cosmos Atom coins. My average on Atom, I believe, is around um, $7 something. So it depends on when you entered as well. ADA is a slow mover. Any advice? to switch to a safe top 50 coin from the whole position for better multiple in bull, mar and bull run. So 
generally speaking, I don't advise switching between coins, especially during bull markets. So why is because usually people do that out of emotions. So you have two coins that you bought into and both of them aren't doing anything. They're not doing jack. And then the entire market is pumping and you're like sitting there with your coins and thinking, well, why did I buy into these two coins? And then what you do is you sell one of those coins into a coin that has, you know, done a 10x. And then that coin that did a 10x starts retracing and the coin you sold starts pumping. And that's how it plays out a lot of the times. And that's going to make you even more annoyed and more angry. Second of all, when you buy into a coin, you buy with the expectation to hold until it reaches your targets or until Bitcoin gets to a point where you're no longer interested in holding any altcoins. If you're going to be doing this switcheroo all the time and jumping in between coins and selling, that's not very smart, not very professional. However, there are there are instances where you can do that. For example, if you if you're holding ADA, you're saying, and you want more X's, and you are in profit, for example, if you're in profit, then you're more likely to have to be in a better position to switch to a different project. But a lot of the times people are selling their coins at a loss into a coin that did a 10x and then that coin starts dumping. So essentially it's a loop of you losing your money. So with ADA, what you can do is if you want to sell the entire bag, that's up to you. If you're looking at the top 50 coins that can do a bit more than ADA, and I think ADA is probably going to get to 4 or $5 this bull market, very possible. So what you can do is you can, let's say AI coins, we'll go to the AI coins and we'll see what we can look at. Oh my God, near protocol is doing well again. Uh... Out of the top 50, you said, right? So let's actually switch to the coin market cap page. Okay, let's see. You can do a Uniswap if you want to, although it did pump quite a bit. So you want to be careful what you buy into. But Uniswap would be a nice choice that could probably do a 10x from here. Maybe, maybe slightly less than a 10x to be honest with you. Injective, definitely no. I would not risk getting into Injective at this point in time. <laughs> you can look at Mantle if you want to. You can look at Phantom if you want to. That's like a safe coin. You can even look at Theta. Like a Theta is probably going to do an 8x from here for sure. Definitely avoid meme coins. That's not even a question that I'm going to be bringing up. Uh, GRT is also a safe AI coin that you can look into, but you want to wait until it retraces. Don't chase green candles. You can also look at render, but wait until it retraces. It has gone up too much already. New protocol. I would not get into this at the current prices. Yeah, I mean, you can look into something outside the top 50 because a lot of the coins in the top 50 are just meme coins or uh, stable coins. So, for example, uh, number 77 is Mina Protocol. You can look into Mina. You can look into AGIX once it retraces back a bit. You can look into Multiverse X, which is sitting at a $1.7 billion market cap. That can still do quite a bit. Uh, SUI is another project that you can look into. Market cap is not that high for like a safe entry. Yeah, those are just a few examples there. Just don't buy into something that has gone up already too much. Don't be that guy. But of course, not, not financial advice. Awesomistic, hello there. How are you doing, my friend? Yes, uh, got eight at 33 cents. That's a good entry point. So you already did a 2x. So you can now think about what you want to do with your ADA, with the information that I've given you. You can decide for yourself and see what works uh, best for you. That's what I can say. Uh, Abhiram Adusumili. So near, regarding a near protocol, I covered 
this on YouTube a few days ago or a few hours ago. So go to my upload feed. We covered this at the start of the live stream as well. If you see something on my upload feed, don't send requests for that token. Just watch the video. That way you obviously get more detailed breakdowns and I don't you know, spend time on tokens we've already covered on YouTube. So let's take a look at DSLA. Actually, no, we have Thammer before that asking for CLV, long and short term. Let's do that. So Oh God. Uh, 101 million dollar market cap. Is this pumping? I, I bet it is. Well, it did see a nice retracement, but over the past year it has pumped quite a bit. Binance, OKX, Gate.io. Clover is a blockchain operating system. It provides a one-stop. Okay, so I think we've covered this as well on, on Patreon. So I'm a bit familiar with the project. Uh, let's take a look at the price action chart. Okay, so we're running into the August 2020 high major resistance level there. If we can break above that, I would say the bear market bottom is printed for this project. We're not coming back down to that price again. So that will be your confirmation. If we break above the August 2022 high, and let's say we even back test that as support, that's even better. So do you wanna be entering right now? Probably not. Probably not, this is way too overextended. Like you had a long, long, uh, period of time where you could have been buying into the project here and you could have looked at some good entry points and you could have secured a nice entry point. I'm not saying it's not going to go up from here and I'm not saying you can't realistically buy at the current price. You can, if you don't go all in, you maybe can buy a bit here. And then if we do retrace, you can buy a bit more down here. That's always a possibility, but it's just that if you buy in right now, there could be a retracement that you're looking at down the line. So you're just going to be buying the local top. And if you're okay with doing that, then by all means, feel free to buy in. I'm not a financial advisor. Personally, I would not be getting into it right now. I would be waiting for a retracement. And you have a nice level here to look at at 0 0.085 cents. If we do get a drop, a correction, that would be a nice entry point. Now, the, the problem with all of these support levels is, is that once we get to the halving, we might just explode and keep pumping, right? We might not get to any of these support levels that I'm giving you. So it's important to understand that when I give you a support level, you have to show patience, right? You have to wait for that support level to be met. You have to set up a buy limit order, but there's also a chance that the project is gonna keep pumping. We get to the halving, we get to the alt season and everything explodes and we, and we don't get to those levels. We don't get to those support levels and you're left with your fiat down here. So it's important for you to strategize to see how long do you want to wait for until you switch to another buy uh, to another buy limit order to a different project or get into something that still hasn't pumped because that's always a possibility there. If you're okay with the buy limit order not getting filled, for example, at this price and the price continuing to pump, you're okay with that and you're okay with staying in fiat, that's fine. But for some of you, you're going to wait until this is filled and then it doesn't get filled and then you pump and then everything else pumps and then there is nothing left to buy. So make sure you understand how long you want to be waiting for. What are the risks of waiting for too long? And again, all of this could have been avoided if like you were buying during the bear market. So this is why it's important to get in when the prices are dropping. It's important to buy the lows, sweep the lows, as they say. And once we get to the next crash, to the next bear market, make sure you are organized, make sure you're getting into all of these projects at lower prices. And uh, that's that's the way we did it with, with our patrons during the bear market. And hopefully that's, uh, that's what uh, some of you did as well. 
So with the uh, Clover, what is the potential expectation here for the long term? Um, first of all, I want to see if we have any token dilution, which I do think we do have. We do have quite a bit of token dilution, 803 uh, million tokens. So right now the market cap is sitting at 100 million. Now, the last time we were sitting at 100 million was back in April 2022. Let's take a look at the price in April 2022. We were sitting at 40 cents. So there was a lot of token dilution, a lot of token dilution. As you can see, we were sitting at a, at a 3x from the current prices with the with the token supply that we had back in 2022, essentially two years ago. So over the past two years, we had a lot of token unlocks. So let's say we want to go back up to the same all-time high prices, which was a $243 million market cap, and that was $1.90. So um, let's close that. Okay, so let's go back. Let's do this. So $1.90. So let's go back to that. That's a 14x and that's a $1.5 billion market cap. And keep in mind, the last time we, got, we were at $1.90, that was only a $245 million market cap. So this is what token dilution does. So for us to get back up to that same price, we're going to be sitting at a $1.5 <clears throat> billion market cap. Can we get to that market cap? Quite possibly. It is possible, but I would be careful expecting any prices above the all-time high. So make sure you understand that. And I would say around $2 is where I would be taking some profits off, if not the majority of the profits. And of course, it depends on how bullish the project gets. So if Clover does something like this after the halving, and uh, you know by June, we're sitting at $2.40, then obviously, you know, we could be looking at higher prices by the end of the year. It's possible. So in that case, you can move up the targets a bit and start taking some profits off the table. But if it's December 2024 and Clover sitting at a dollar and fifty, <clears throat> and Bitcoin is sitting at you know one hundred twenty thousand dollars, then you definitely want to be thinking about selling most of your um, tokens at the at the price, whatever the price may be at that time. So short term. 20 MA on the weekly, good entry point, 0 0.851 cents, good entry point. And if you want to get in as soon as possible, I guess the 20 MA is your best friend in that scenario. And uh, if we, if you do get a retracement, you do get a pullback after you bought in. Don't panic, just buy more tokens. And of course, that's not financial advice. Exactly, great point about uh, importance of strateg strategizing. Uh, yes, yes, exactly. Because some people are just going to wait for specific buy limit orders to be filled in, and they're just going to miss out on potentially buying some other coins. Uh, buy high, sell low, trading 101. Uh, well, that's that's what all the grandmas and all the newbies are going to be doing when they get in at the top of the cycle. And we're going to be selling off of them, unfortunately. That's the way the markets work. They're getting in too late. We got in too early. So that's the way it works. We make money because of the new people coming in. VRA, please, and thank you. Okay, so let's go back to... Welcome, everyone who's joining the live stream. Feel free to leave a like and check out, check out the Patreon linked down below in the description. Uh, feel free to get a seven-day free access to my 700-plus posts on Patreon with my trade alerts, with my portfolios, with pretty much everything that we do there on a daily basis. And we do cover a lot of low caps there. I think we're almost at an 80, 80 posts with low cap gems, so 80 low cap gems that you can look into for free without spending any time on research and uh, trying to find them in the first place. So let's take a look at the next request and we've been going on for 40 minutes. So we'll probably do five more minutes and then we'll try to wrap up. Uh, exactly, like the live. Uh, so we'll do Aptos, we'll do Aptos right now.
5.4 billion dollar market cap okay and let's do coinbase Okay, so immediately what we can do is we can set up a Fibonacci retracement with targets to the upside. You have $42 roughly as your target there. From the current prices, that's going to be a 3x. Right now we're sitting at a $5.4 billion market cap, so that's going to be like a $16.2 billion market cap by the time we get to $41 and Maybe we get to a 20, let's say $25 billion market cap, and then you can look at some higher prices in that instance. But I would say the second FIB level is a bit too overextended. Unless we enter some sort of a super pump for Aptos, then yeah, $60, $70 possible. But to be conservative, I would look at $41.6 as of right now. And if you're looking to buy into it, I would definitely wait a bit because we're in the overbought and we're quite far away from the 20 EMA. Not the best time to be getting into a high cap altcoin, to be honest with you. If this was a low cap project, sure. And you're bullish on it, sure, you can enter at the current prices. But this is a high cap altcoin and we're in the overbought. We might see retracement soon. I would wait. We're very close to the 20 MA on the daily though. Yeah, I would just wait. So what we can do over here is take a look at $11. Great entry point for anyone looking to get into Aptos based on the FIB here, that's the golden ratio. That was our resistance over here, as you can see. That was our resistance. And then we also got rejected from that point in April, 2023. Okay, and wait until the daily RSI retraces somewhere down here to these lower levels. You know, if you can buy in somewhere in this range, that would be great. And we can extend this maybe to see what levels we can catch here. There we go. So this was retested a few times since October 2023, as you can see. So... Once we have a bounce from that blue area, once again, once we come back down to it, make sure to buy in. That's going to be a good area to get into Aptos. Okay, let's take a look at the next request that we have here. Okay, so we have uh, DSLA. I don't think we looked at DSLA yet. It is breaking out of its... Uh, symmetrical triangle pattern as of right now and we did talk about this on previous live streams and we did talk about this on patreon as well so we're we are breaking out right now we could see a move into this block that we have here let me change the color to yellow so into that yellow block there we could have a move and a, a retest of that just like we did back in may last year and almost in november last year now, if we can actually pump back up to the April 2023 high, that would be really good. And if we can actually break above that, then uh, we could be targeting one cent here for DSLA. That would be the target after we break above the local top here, which is over here. But as of right now, you know, we're still moving up. If you want to get in before the potential pump, if you want to secure yourself a nice position before we potentially start pumping, now is a good time to be entering because we just bounced off of the support. The yellow trend line was a really good entry point as well. So feel free to look into this if you're looking to get some DSLA. But keep in mind, I think it's listed as a um, token that could be delisted soon from KuCoin. So be careful getting into it if you haven't done any research into the project. So make sure to look at the website, the team, and what do you think of it? Look at the tokenomics, which by the way, tokenomics for DSLA are looking really good. But other than that, yeah, right now is a good entry point. And if you're looking for long-term profits, you can set up a Fibonacci retracement from the bear market bottom there 
to let's say those prices there and we're looking at seven cents here from the current prices that is a five thousand five hundred percent to the upside per the fibonacci here from the low in december 2022 to the high in october 2021 that's dsla protocol for you Let's see if I missed anything. I don't think I did. Yeah, tr uh, Tristan, we'll do one request per per person. So we did Aptos, we did, okay, now we had a few requests for VRA, I believe. So Viktor Zhekov. VRA and uh, Mumtaz Ali is asking for DOT. So I believe Mumtaz Ali is a patron. So we'll we'll take a look at DOT first and then we'll switch over to VRA. And then we'll probably end the live stream after that. So don't send any more requests, guys. We'll be ending the live stream after the DOT and VRA reviews. So entering Polkadot here on the weekly chart, it's doing extremely well. And so this is the neckline that the one of the viewers was talking about. So essentially we have the left shoulder, the uh, the head and the right shoulder here, and we're sitting above the neckline, which is this trend line. And that's really good. That is really good. We're above the 20 MA, we're above the August 2022 high. Everything is looking really bullish for Polkadot. Finally, we saw a breakout and you had a quite a long time to buy into Polkadot. That's exactly what we were doing on uh, Patreon. We were getting into it at five, six, $7. And we're currently staking our DOT uh, on the Nova wallet, earning some passive income. So if you still haven't gotten into DOT, I would say <clears throat> anything below $10 is a good entry point. Anything below $10. If you're looking for a safe 5x, a safe 5x, in my opinion, is what Polkadot can do. If it does better, so be it. But if you're entering with the intention to sell at a 5x, DOT is one of the coins that you can look into. Hopefully Polkadot 2.0 brings more developers to their ecosystem and we can actually see it grow. And that way DOT is gonna have more demand as a token. And obviously that's gonna bring out the price uh, past the all time high that we have here at $55 or so. So below $10, you have a really good entry point. Right now is the last time you can buy into it with with $10, I think, I don't think it's going to hold on at these prices for too long. I think once we get to the alt season, this will take off and wait until we get more Polkadot 2.0 news. So $13 billion market cap. This is a very high cap altcoin. So it's, it's better you get into it as soon as you can before we take off is, is all I'm saying. So if you're looking for targets to the upside, what we do is we set up a FIB just like that. And you can see that we're looking at $106 as our minimal target during the bull market. Is that something that we can do? Like a 10X from here would put it at $130 billion market cap, and that would be like $100 or so. Is that possible? In a really bullish scenario, yes. In a more conservative scenario, I would say 50 to 60 to $70 is more likely. And I'll be out of the markets by that point. And again, these are just targets that you set up to, to actually sell when you get to those targets. But if you don't get to those targets and Bitcoin gets way too overextended, then we'll have to start taking profits regardless of where the price is for each altcoin. That's something to understand. If Bitcoin is close to 150,000 and you still haven't sold any of your altcoins, my friend, what are you doing? You're going to lose your, your profits. So make sure you secure those profits regardless whether your targets have been met or not. So those targets aren't your ultimate ultimate strategy and, and you're not getting married to that coin until it gets to that price. Just make sure not to have that kind of mindset. But overall, Polkadot is doing really well. I think Mumtaz Ali already got into it uh, before.
And now we'll take a look at VRA and that'll be it for this live stream. So VRA did see a bit of a nice retracement. As you can see into the yellow block there, that was a really good entry point if you wanted to buy some. We dropped back down below 0 0.008, I believe. Actually, no, that was the week prior to that. But even with this pullback here, like below 0 0.001 cent, that's really good. That was a really good pullback. And technically speaking, you can still buy. We're still sitting in this yellow block. And this is probably your last opportunity before we see a move to the upside. And of course, I'm not saying this because I know we're going to see a pump. But if I did not have any VRA tokens, I would be thinking this might be my last chance to get in at the current prices. We got in on, on Patreon. We got in at these prices here. So I don't mind. Whatever it does, doesn't matter. But for those of you who haven't got in, then you should be looking at some entries as soon as possible. Because if you take too long, we might have another move to the upside. And then you're thinking, oh, should I be buying at four cents? No, you shouldn't be buying at four cents because you can buy in right now. That's that's the mindset that I have for this. And long term, we're looking at 20, we're looking at 25 cents for VRA. Long term. So a 25x from the current prices is very doable in my opinion. And uh, if we do continue dipping, you have a few support levels here. So you have this top from February 2023, and you have this level at 0 um, 0.00886, which is the 0.382 Fibonacci level. So you can see we're just exploding out of this symmetrical triangle here. We're seeing a nice explosion, and this could take us absolutely uh, parabolically to, let's say, four cents in the next few weeks. We're just seeing a bit of a retracement here, but we're still very overextended. The pump just started and uh, we still didn't get to the proper old season. We still didn't get to the halving yet. So things are going to pick up really, really soon. So make sure you have that sense of urgency. So that's going to be it for Veracity. I quickly want to go through some AI coins. All of them have essentially pumped. So be careful getting into any AI coins right now. You can wait until the NVIDIA... Uh, conference is over by the 18th, I think. It's I think it's a few days. And then we have Ilya from uh, Near Protocol, one of the co-founders, I believe, is going to be at that event talking about their project. So hopefully they announce something bullish and Near Protocol can explode even higher. As for all of the other coins, this could be like a sell the news event. So people are buying the rumor right now and they're going to sell the news once the event happens. That's a possibility there. But... As for tokens that you can buy in, there's not a lot. Look at the lower cap ones that you still haven't touched or those that still haven't gone up too much. Um, Vector Space AI, I believe we covered this on Patreon a long time ago. Sidus is still good to buy, in my opinion. Just a few good picks for you watching the live stream here. Stealth Key is still quite low. Open Fabric AI, look into that one. Parzik, look into that one. Matrix, be careful. I'm not sure if they're if the team abandoned the project or not. Look into lithium, look into lossless. Ispolink obviously exploded. Pre-search, look into pre-search. <clears throat> and then we got a request for also Clintex. We also got a request for layer AI, which is this one. So $14 million market cap. This is available on uh, KuCoin, which is nice. It did explode, unfortunately. Team, I'm bearish on pay. Okay, that's a different project. Boom soon, let's go every day, brings you closer to victory. I'm not sure what pay has to do that. LAI soon on Binance. Look at the volume 100x soon. Okay, so obviously super bullish comments. This was sitting at less than a cent, and now it's sitting at eight cents. Did like a 10x. So be careful getting into this right now. Let's open up the chart real quick. Because I did want to take a look at this. If I was getting this, I would be getting it on KuCoin. Of course, crazy pump. So be careful getting into it. Be 
very, very careful. So what I would say is if we get a pullback into this area here, like anywhere within the realms of this area here, so between this touch and this touch, if we manage to get down there, fill up your bags here and you won't be sorry in my opinion. If you're really bullish on the project, of course, I have to look into it myself, but if you're buying all-time high prices right now, it's not the worst thing ever because the market cap is extremely low. Extremely low. So feel free to uh, look into this project, Layer AI. Other than that, that's been it for this live stream, guys. Uh, I want to thank you all for joining. Thank you all for sending in your old coin requests. Thank you all for subscribing and leaving a like. Make sure to check out the channel upload feed and make sure to check out the previous live streams. And also feel free to check out the Patreon of the seven day um, free access. And yeah, that's pretty much it for the video and the live stream. Thank you. And I'll see you in the next one.